Hello there. Welcome back to Paper Mario. The Fasmir Door. Um, yeah. Princess Peach time. One of my least favorite parts. <laughs> you blew it again, Lord Crump. You sicken me. Look, I'm sorry. Seriously, we thought we thought we had the guy cornered, but stop talking, Lord Crump. You just stand by until my next order. And Lord Crump, think of this as your last chance. Understand? Roger that. Then leave. Hey, you there. What is it, sir? Tell the Shadow Sirens to attack Mario again and tell them not to fail this time. You got it, sir. <clears throat> I have one crystal star in my hands and Mario has five. I must take some measures. Tech called me in here again. I wonder what it is this time. Heck, was that noise you? What's wrong? I must request that you do something a bit more dangerous this time. Dangerous? I would like you to sneak into Sir Grotus' room and look for a data disk. A data disk? Why would you need that? Although I can view all data on the network, I am unable to access the data of computers that are not linked to the network. Sir Grotus has information that even I am unable to view. But I must know it. I must know that information. How do you know he has a data disk? That's what I want to know. But how will I get in there? Will I be disguised again? Not this time. No one other than Sir Grotus can enter his room. When Sir Grotus is elsewhere, there are guards outside the room that prevent no entry. But there is a way. You will be fine if you act according to my instructions. I must tell you, I do not want to make you do such a dangerous thing. But now I have no one to ask but you. I don't mind, Tech. Really, ask me anything. Well then, first leave the room and take the elevator up, as you did earlier. I... You will first go in the opposite direction of Sir Grotus's room. Exit the elevator and enter the room with the green lamp lit above it. Which is the opposite direction of his room? I'll assume this way is the opposite. Maybe? Aha! Now I will have you concoct a potion that will make you transparent. You mean, a potion that makes me invisible? Yes, you will enter Sigurdus' room by becoming completely invisible. Wow, okay, how do I make it? You must first set up all the potions on the desk and the concoctionator. It's that machine in the back, but even I do not know which potion to set where. There should be memos left in this room by the x not researchers. Please use them as references and set the potions in the machine. I don't know if the potions are the same order every time, but... We're going to look at these. Oh, come on. Note, place the orange potion between the blue potion and the green potion. Alright. Note, place two potions between the green potion and the red potion. I think I already know where to put them. Maybe. Do not place the red potion on the far right. Place the blue potion next to the red potion. Okay, well, we have... The red potion on the far left. Um, did that say the blue potion goes next to the... Oops. Next to the red potion. I... Um, what were... What was this one again? Place the orange potion between the blue and the green. Okay, well then it goes orange and then green. Clearly. Are you sure they are placed to your liking? Yes. Very well. Then please cue the button on the control panel located on the left side of the room. Um, you can make a lot of interesting things happen in this if you fuck around, but I'm not gonna fuck around. Do that later. I mean, I mean, I won't do it later. I just do it when I play by myself. I'm not gonna do it here. I have more fun fucking around with the cake in the first Mario game. 
Please, ple please press the button where the be beaker stops to dispense each potion. You're supposed to press everyone where it stops. I think. Ah! I will heat the mixed potion in the beaker for 30 seconds. Press the button exactly 30 seconds after the heating starts to stop the machine. Good thing I have a timer on my video. Alright. This is great. Just looking at the timer. Looking away from my mic. Almost there, I think. Uh huh. Now. That seems like it should work. That was about 30 seconds. By my calculations, it should be finished, but did it come out correctly, do you think? I think so. Very good. And please drink it. All of it, if you please. What? Drink this? Is it safe? It smells really funky. Please, you must drink it. Alright. Okay, it worked. You have done it. You have successfully made yourself transparent. Congratulations. But, I must ask you to take off your dress, however. Even the potion cannot make the dress invisible. What? That's indecent. No way. Oh, fine, I guess. If it's the only way. Princess Peach is going to be walking around this establishment completely butt naked. When you go into Sir Grotus's room, first locate the disc with the recorded data, then insert that disc into the personal computer and connect it to the network. When you are finished with that, please come back to this room. I will teach you how to make yourself normal again. Gee, this is kind of a complicated plan, huh? I suppose. Now please go, please go to Sir Grotus's room. I'm walking around butt naked. Hi there. What? Okay, that was creepy. Why did the doors open even though there's no one here? A malfunction or am I just totally losing it here? I wonder how they can't smell me. I would imagine Princess Peach uses a metric fuck ton of perfume. Ah. Hi there, good sir. This must be Curtis's room. Now where is that disc? It's right over here where the discs are kept. Found it. This must be it. Um, oh yeah, now I insert the disc into the computer and connect it to the network. I did it! Yes, I did it! It's working! Looks like it's all done. I better put the disc back where I got it. There, like I was never here. I just go put a my dress back on. Don't want to run around naked anymore. It's my tits flopping everywhere. Here we are. Alright. Thank you, Princess Peach. I was able to obtain the data I desired. Is that right? Well, I'm glad. Now I will teach you how to become visible again. It is quite simple, actually. Merely drink the green potion. You will revert to normal instantaneously. Okay, just hang on one minute. She has to put her dress back on. Oh, I would have liked it if she didn't. Wow, that was 
Awkward. Okay, now I'm ready. Let's see here. The green potion, right? <sighs> what a relief. I was kind of worried that I might never become visible again. There was never any danger of that. Now please return to the computer room. I think I'm just going to teleport out there when I leave. I don't know, though. Uh, yep. Teleport. Say, by the way, Tech, what was that data? I'm still analyzing it. The data is very heavily encrypted. But if my prediction is correct... If it's correct, what? No, I cannot afford any mistakes or assumptions. I will let you know when my analysis is complete. Now please use the communicator if you wish. Okay, you'll tell me when you decide for the data, huh? Good. Then I'll use the communicator. Thanks. Typey, 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 typey. I've read my message. Would you send it? The message has been sent. We are done for now. Please go back to the room. Okay, take care, Tech. Herpa derpa 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 derpa. Thank you, Princess Peach. Why, you're welcome, Tech. Ah ha 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 ha, I'm a whore. That's what she says. Princess Peach, I will protect you. Yes, why yes, I would like to save all game progress up to this point. Black, what is this place? Why is the light so weird here? It's spooking me out. Well, it's odd because this is Twilight Town, my lord. There should be treasure here. Let's put the screws to one of these creepy things and find the crystal star. Sounds good to me, Heidi. Let's get to it. Oh man, I'm pretty sure Belden said she lost her super bomb somewhere around here. This stinks, really. This whole deal is extremely bad, 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 bad. I gotta cowboy up and make a serious comeback here or else. Bam, got it. I am the man. Now I can crush Mario and get the crystal stars in one fell swoop. Hot diggity dog. Bah, 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 ha, ha. The luck of the moon is still riding shotgun with me. You there, suspicious guy. You know something about the crystal stars, don't you? Well, somebody there. Hey, what's the big idea, turtle boy? You looking for the crystal stars too? Sweet, this will help the crumb come back. Now then, let's get to it. You'll be telling me everything you know now. Uh, actually, it's you who's gonna spill every bit of the info out of your big ugly head. Yeah, sorry about that. And if you hesitate at all, I'll show you no mercy. W whoa there, big guy. I mean, no, wait, what am I afraid of? You? Ba 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 ha ha. You think you can take me? Then try it, chubby. All troops report. Oh man, they're gonna start a war. Ba 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 ha ha. Yeah, you like that? Kind of like, it's kind of a lot of dudes, huh? You feel like talking yet? Wah ha 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 You dare scoff at us? Koopa clan, form up! Oh, they're just gonna start a war. Whoa, well played. <laughs> so what's it gonna be, tough guy? Oh, I gotta laugh. This is why I keep one of these around. Sorry, suckers. Eat this, turtle dork. Super bomb. bomb Incoming! Huh? That was it? That was your big weapon? It didn't even go off. Wahahaha. <laughs> this is how you do it, amateur. Watch and learn. Oh, that was stupid. They just bombed Twilight Town. Stop rumbling, controller. <laughs> Alright. We're gonna... Look at the map. And then we're gonna get the stupid Mrs. Mouse. Like, you freaking faggots want me to. I'm not gonna use her. You can't make me use her. But I'll get her. You, you have distinguished yourself in battle, amigo. You are worthy in my eyes. You may use this ship to the Black Skull anytime you like. Ah, many thanks to you. This ship can get us back to Rogueport in no time. Let us get away from this coconut pit and back home. Come, everybody. I can't wait to get home. We've been looking forward to this for so long. Returning home alive is all the treasure I need. For real, now let's get this boat moving. 
Well, that is all there is to it, then. Am I not correct? To see, Captain Mario. Ah, Mario. Oh, piss off. We're going to stay here. It's been tough at times, but I think we like this place. Yes, I think I can make a fine life here with my sweet Frankie. Hey, Mario, give my regards to the boss, will ya? Yeah, I'm going to stay here. It's a right nice place to live without any ghosts, eh? Yeah, they're all going to be just fine. Let's go, Mario. Shut up, Coops. I didn't ask for your opinion. Bitch. Ready, amigos? Cast off. Month star, day circle, and thus our adventure came to an exciting end, ah? Huh? The ship sailed smoothly onto Rogueport, and soon we saw the harbor off our bow. I did not find treasure, but I am satisfied nonetheless, strange though it sounds. For I have found something even more precious than doubloons, yes. Even now I hear the crew readying to dock, the time is ripe to close this journal. To all who honor the seas, Flavio's best blessing upon you, Flavio. At last we return, slathered in glory, to my hometown, sweet Rogueport. Of course, it is only because of my courageous efforts that we return at all, eh? But of course, you all know that, and we know it as well. Yes, yes, Master Flavio. But now, please excuse us. Perhaps chance will bring us all together again someday. But what? Hey, where are- y You're all leaving already? Ah, uh, that was harsh. Such is life, Captain Mario. You are anxious to continue your own adventure also, ah? Huh? One day, you may surpass the great and fabulous Flavio in greatness and fabulousness. I hope not fabulousness. It is not likely, I assure you, but you should, how you say, shoot for the stars, ah? Huh? If ever you should reach the pinnacle, remember to shout Flavio to the wind. That reminds me, amigo. If you ever get the urge to return to Keelhaw Key, just say the word, okay? I'll send you to the island faster than the fastest wind blows, comprehende? Yes, yes, you giant skull, you. Your time in the spotlight is done. Get over yourself. Ahem. Well, my adoring fans have gone, so I will be excuse myself now as well. If you see me in town, I would permit you to say hello to me. May we meet again, huh? Well, Mario, I guess we should get on too. Let's head down to the door, huh? Shut up, Coops. I did not ask for your opinion. <sighs> yeah, yeah. It's an email from Princess Peach. Dearest Mario, I have good news. I don't know where I'm being held, but there's an odd computer called Tech here. By cooperating with this tech, I've managed to obtain some of these fiends' data. Tech is currently analyzing it, and strange as it may sound, I trust him. Once his anal analysis is done, I should be able to provide you with details of their plans. I'll email you again once I learn more. Be good, okay, Princess Peach? Whoa, she's good. They gotta call her Super Peach. We should get to work, too. I said data instead of data. I don't know why. Just ignore that. Oh, no. I was gonna get on Yoshi, but that's like work. Alright, now I'm pretty sure there's two chapters left. Or three, I mean. Three, there's eight crystal stars. Oh no, there's seven, then I know. Okay, then I know what the next chap- What do you want? When I consulted my star charts, I saw a proportion portentous sign for you, Mario. It went thusly. In the house of the dragon that flew through the air beyond the reversible stair. Near the empty black chest that cursed you, and has a clue to help your allies learn. I have no idea what it means, unfortunately, but I have no doubt of its importance as a sign for you and your friends. If you figure out this mystery, come and tell me immediately. That was not a very mysterious mystery. Just saying. Okay, to the door. How do I get to the door again? I forget this every time I come. Pretty sure I just pop down here for a spell, go down here. And I'll be here? <sighs> yeah, I'll be here. There's a magic Koopa down there. Hello, door. I think I know exactly where we're heading next.
Yeah, I thought so. It's not that I dislike this chapter. I mean, I like it, but there's one place that I hate in it. Well, I don't hate, but I dislike. Oh, well. Look, I still have a Star Wars card on your magical map. All right, let's go see the professor. Oh, yeah. Great news, my friends. The next crystal star is in pot. <laughs> wow, partially heights. I knew it. I knew it. Wait, don't a lot of really rich and famous people live in Poshley Heights? Yes, yes, and I'm fairly sure there's also a shrine to the stars called Poshley Sanctum. No fearsome monsters or dangerous dungeons either. It's just a tourist attraction. Sounds great, and to get to this place we should... That's the best part, you ride the most famous train of all, the XS Express. Yes, after a luxurious steam engine excursion, the next crystal star will be yours. Getting those crystal stars has been backbreaking work, but this will be a cinch. Um, but I thought only rich or famous people can get tickets to that train. Hmm, that may be true. Perhaps you should ask Don Pianta for help with this too. Oh man, you gotta be joking with me. That guy's scary. Great, well it's not like we have much choice here. Let's go, Mario. Oh, yeah. Excellent, then we're set. We may not have much time left, so you must hurry. I'll gather all the information I can. You guys just handle your end of things. Nope. I want your trash. Cortez. Lord Crump. That's all. I will see you guys on the next episode.